UFO sighting. NASA has given us a new image, film's largest UFO ever recorded exiting the sun. Tom Fish Express UK reports, it's the largest UFO ever recorded. It's been observed exiting the sun on NASA images. NASA Space Telescope, a self-proclaimed UFO expert, claims. NASA's Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, SOHO, has pictures of the sun every day various uh, on various types of film and the SOHO project is an ambitious attempt to study the internal structure and the outer atmosphere of the Sun. Since it began orbiting our star, NASA's Space Telescope has made numerous achievements. It's from understanding the Sun's complicated gas currents hidden beneath its surface to tracking changes in its magnetic fields. But uh, the UFO hunter Scott C. Waring believes that NASA's Solar Observatory has now made its most amazing discovery yet, and that's because it captured an image of a UFO exiting our sun. Scott C. Waring took to his ET database uh, UFO blog to uh, speculate what this uh, image could have been. Alien theory. He said, you won't believe this, this is an angelic UFO close-up coming out of the sun this week. This is a video captured by the NASA Soho HelioViewer.org and it has captured an angelic craft coming out of the sun during a solar explosion. This is not the first time we've noticed this happening. Angelic meaning that it's got outspread wings, of course. That's what he means by angelic. It looks like an angel. Somehow it's got a horizontal bar, a little note on top, and a fat little body. Uh, at, uh, it was coming out of the sun during a solar uh, flare, and we've seen this happen before. A still of this NASA footage shows much solar debris spewing from the sun right-hand side. Then an unexpected anomaly is shown only for an instant appearing on the star's left-hand side, and Scott Waring proceeds showing NASA footage enough to see the oddly shaped anomaly near the top of the sun, about 11 o'clock from the sun. The image is also inverted into a negative format using digital manipulation with a strange object showing up black against the white of the sun. The sun is bright while due to the intense heat it emits on average 5,500 degrees Celsius. He said, look at that, it's freaking solid. It's not clear or transparent like the surrounding debris. But the anomaly shows up dark, leading Warren to ask, how can anything exiting the sun be so cold? Even the gas and the solar debris surrounding the sun can be seen cooling off, but this UFO is really dark. This is 100% an alien craft. And he goes on to describe angelic craft have in fact been spotted around the sun for ages, but this particular one is different. UFOs usually have a long dragonfly-like tail in their back, but this one doesn't, which is very strange. Hmm, maybe you've sold it behind its body, who knows. The footage was filmed by NASA SOHO on Thursday, June 20th, according to the footage's timestamp. As we can see, the uh, warning then said, uh, zooms in on NASA's footage in an attempt to prove the craft is a solid object. The solar debris field becomes very pixelated when viewed from close up, while the anomaly remains relatively sharp. And Warren continues to explain it does not look like a solar explosion, and if it was ejecta, this would not be black in negative format. It would be the same color as the sun from this distance, and that to me is amazing. The anomaly appears to be huge in comparison to our star, approximately the size of Jupiter. And warning adds, this has to be one of the largest UFOs ever recorded. Nothing that big, big could move that fast unless it has the ability to travel at light speed. And the scores of UFO enthusiasts, of course, took to YouTube commenting on Warring's bizarre theory. Met L. Head wrote, dude, it's an upside down saucer, but that thing looks bigger than Jupiter. And Sondi907 Skywatcher agreed, saying, it's kind of like in the shape of a stingray, nice catch, that thing is huge. NASA has not commented on Waring's find up to now.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.